you'll hear me talk about the fact that we're not satisfied with where we are. And our theme today is all about a roadmap for growth, getting back to growing the top line, growing traffic, and making sure that we make Target a growth company again. That was Target CEO Brian Cornell, who joined us in the last hours, talking about what he plans to tell shareholders at today's Investor Day following this morning's fourth quarter profit and revenue beats. That stock this morning up by 8.3 percent after those results. And Michael Lasser is UBS retail analyst. He joins us right now to talk a little bit more about it. Um, the company pretty convincingly beat for the fourth quarter. Its guidance for the full year was about in line with what the street's expecting. But the guidance for the current quarter is below. Still, you're looking at that stock up more than 8 percent. Why is that? What did you see that you liked? I think there are three reasons why the stock's up. Number one, uh, it's getting its traffic back. It was only down 2 percent this quarter after being down mid-single digits for the last few quarters. Number two, the profitability of this business is returning back to where it was historically. And number three, I think the market's looking at the outlook and saying it set a conservative expectation that will afford them to have an upward earnings revision cycle that will continue to drive the stock. Why was the traffic down, do you think? I think the traffic was down for a couple reasons. One, target over indexes to categories that were under pressure. Things like consumer electronics, which was about 10% of the sales in the fourth quarter. Toys were under pressure. A home, that's uh, a third of the, a third of the t company's total sales in the fourth quarter. Those Dis three items. Those three items. Yeah. So despite that, it still was only down 2%. That, that's an encouraging sign. So if you weighted sales by category, all things considered, it's doing not too bad. Uh, Brian talked a little bit here about what they've been doing to try and raise their operating uh, margins, yeah. raise their profit margins. A, a lot of that has to do with cutting the number of SKUs, with, with making sure that they really have inventory under control and that they say are putting the right things out there. That's a tough game to continue to play. Yeah. You have faith that they're on the right track with this? I, I do. I think they will... Be a little bit more aggressive in the categories where there's strength, areas like beauty, uh, certain consumable items. They just launched a new, more value-oriented line of uh, food products. Um, so I think they'll make some very strategic bets on inventory, which is key because they need to be able to maintain a positive sales momentum as well as improving margins from here. And we're confident they'll be able to do that. You've got a buy rating. Your target's $174. They've made up a lot of ground just this morning. That stock's up more than $12. Yeah. So <clears throat> what do you do with your price target? So we're constantly reviewing our price target. But one way to think about it is that this print put Target in position to resume a 6% operating margin. It guided 860 to 960 for this year. If it hits a 6% operating margin, its earnings is going to be close to 1050 to $11. And if it, it, if it trades at the same multiple that it is right now, that's, that's closer to a $200 stock. So our argument is that there's still more upside and catalysts on the horizon. Not only are they going to have this meeting today, they're going to be at the UBS Consumer Conference next week where they'll be in front of investors to further reinforce this good story.